Stephanie, who are you? Stephanie, the little girl from uh, the school, Liz Preparatory School, who are you? Stephanie. Alan, is Stephanie around? Oh, okay, I can see her. Let's appreciate her. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I wish to make a tribute to Madame Lizzie Wanyoike, the fallen heroine. Madam Lizzie, we are broken that you have gone, gone to a journey of no return. You never said you were leaving, nor did you tell us goodbye. We received the news on that grey Sunday and wished that it was a nightmare we would eventually wake up from. But no, it's a new phase, era, and time to look back at the memories we all had. Heavens gained handsomely a mother to all of us, a sweet grandmother to all the children, a mentor to many, a role model to the young generation, a philanthropist to the destitute, a good boss to your employees, an educator through your profound passion for education. In fact, we gave you a new title, a mother of education. Your love has given life to others, Madame Lizzie, we children being among them. We remember how you visited us in class just to say hi and check on us. You would then casually ask, are you happy? And we would say a resounding yes. You would then smile at us, wave and say, say hi to your parents and tell them I love them. Madame Lizzie, we celebrate your life. We will take all your life teaching to make our lives better. We will emulate your humility and selflessness to be people of substance in future, just like you. We want it said of us that we inherited the attributes of our school director, that we inspire and give hope to those who have despaired. Madame Lizzie, even in your death, just know that the whole world is hurting, not because you have gone to be with the, with the Lord, but because we have been robbed of a gem, a very special precious stone that we dearly treasured. As your children, we have one message for you. Rest assured that we are the future of Lizzie Mothoni Wanyoke. We will continue lighting up the world with the candle you passed to us. You will be proud of us in heaven. That we promise, Madam Lizzie. I may not tell the world everything about you for now, but what everybody knows is that for sure, God has plucked the best flower from his garden. You are in a better place, Madam Lizzie. We will live to reminisce your passion, dedication, and contribution towards life. Rest in perfect peace, our heroine. Till we meet again, thank you. My name is Ruth Kihundo, and whatever else the bishop has uh, extended and said, I will not dwell on that. I am speaking on behalf of the neighbors in CUNA. We call ourselves CUNA Women Pioneer Group. My chairman is around here. Maybe you allow me that half minute just to let you let uh, our chairman stand up. And if there is any member of the CUNA women group, wherever you are, please raise your hand up. Mrs. Sarah Mbogwa is our chair lady. And Lizzie was her vice chair. So I'll go straight to the tribute that has come from the ladies. Lizzie was one of the founder members of Kenya Life. CUNA women uh, group who was one of the founder members of that group about 20 or so years ago and it was kicking it was still kinky she was a very active member got on well with all the members and she treated all of us like her sister in fact we call each other sisters even the senior sisters she often would invite the whole membership to her home and to her various functions in the, her different uh, institutions. 
we had the opportunity and the privilege to be part of NIPS, to be part of Emory, to be part of the foundation and all that. I will talk about, rather read about she cared for and assisted the less privileged members, not only of our community in CUNA, but even throughout Kenya. And that has been said, so I will not go beyond that. She was a good woman, cheerful. Wherever she entered in the room, her presence would be felt. Even if there was deep conversation, sometimes she would just blow up and say, we need to laugh. And so we would laugh. Little Lizzie, what we can say about Lizzie is so much that we can't even begin to talk. I'll just say, especially for me as a person, we started our journey with Lizzie as friends from Kenyatta College, the one that was mentioned. And since that time, we have been very, very close friends to the extent that she has been honoring me to speak on behalf of her during her children's weddings and stuff like that. So what do we say? We are saying that Lizzie rest in perfect peace. You deserved it. You deserve it. And may the Lord Almighty, our Creator who is all-knowing, encourage and uphold the family in his own divine ways during this difficult period and into the future. These ladies, the CUNA Women Pioneer Group, ladies and gentlemen, have seen these children grow, all of them who are seated here. They are their mothers, they are their grandmothers, they are their great grandmothers. And so we assure you that the CUNA Women Pioneer Group will hold your hands as and when. May God bless you. Thank you. Praise God. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Yeah, it's such a challenge when Bishop tells you that uh, it's one minute, and I will try my very best to keep it to a minute. So allow just to acknowledge the presence of Kenapko members. My name is Dr. Ekra Dungu, the chairperson, Kenya National Association of Private Colleges. Kenya National Association of Private Colleges is the umbrella body of the private Tibet in Kenya. We have 2,200 uh, colleges in the country and 300. 80,000 students spread across the country. So ladies and gentlemen, fa uh, family, clergy, friends, and esteemed guests, we gather here to celebrate extraordinary life and the legacy of our beloved leader, director who inspired us all. Dr. Lizzie Wanyoike departure is sad news for us as private tivets and the entire education sector. Hearing that Lizzie has slept to eternity was not easy for all of us. It's easy to say goodbye to someone, uh, but it's not easy to say goodbye to someone who had such a significant impact. The memory of Lizzie Wanyoike will continue to inspire and uplift us as we navigate this world without her. Together, as private Tibet, we honor her legacy and cherish the moments we shared with her. We thank God for the ears he gave Lizzie to us. We would really have wanted more because she's our industry champion and a benchmark for all of us. But when she slept to eternity, we reminded ourselves of Psalms 90:12 that may the Lord teach us to realize the brevity of life so that we may grow in wisdom. Dr. Lizzie, the kindest, loveliest, most selfless person you'll ever meet. She was very brave, soft-spoken, and always there for anyone who needed her. She was one of the pioneers of Kenapco. She is actually a founder of this association. Lizzie was selfless. When our sector was challenged, she gave her own resources. That is in the year 2010 when we had to go to court and to do so many things to shape the Tibet sector and the Tibet song that we are seeing in this country today. It is her own resources that she gave us to push the agenda. That is a level of selflessness that is not with many business people. She didn't care that other institutions will benefit from that, but she just wanted to see everyone win. And she was such an exceptional herbal lady, a believer that your candle shining bright, it can't dim hers. 
should mentor us as founders on how to grow institutions and some members would go to her when they are broke and Lizzie would give them soft loans to market their institutions. So the last lobbying meeting that we had with Lizzie, now I understand why Jega didn't have a tie, so in honor of Lizzie Jega, when we are going to see the cabinet secretary, please come with a tie. I walked with Lizzie from Jogo House. We had gone to see Dr. Kevit Desai and found ourselves standing on the streets along Moy Avenue uh, when Nibs was at Moy Avenue Cooperative Bank. And that time Lizzie was telling me that all I want is now to mentor college owners on how to grow their institutions. And Lizzie was very generous with the information and her resources, very selfless indeed. She had such an abundance mentality which is a valuable lesson for all of us this afternoon to emulate that there is always enough for everyone. The growth of Nib's Technical College through her leadership remains an inspiration and a benchmark for us as private tibets. Rizzi has certainly been a pace setter, a leader who possessed a rare combination of vision, passion, and empathy, and she was fearless, and she led her team in empowering them and encouraging them uh, to become great and to strive for greatness. At a personal level, I, as Dr. Ekradungu, my role as the chairperson, Kenapko. However, my journey started in NIBS. I was privileged to work with Lizzie, and that is where my career journey started. So, thank you. So today we mourn an extraordinary woman, but we celebrate the beautiful legacy that she leaves behind. Her life will continue to guide us and to remind us that we can achieve anything that we aspire to. It is so sad that the cruel heart of death just picked the most beautiful and promising flower from the garden. And just like snow, uh, grief melts away with time. We will come to terms with these clothes as time goes by. As Kenapko uh, family, we bid you farewell, Lizzie. See you in heaven, Lizzie, our champion. May God's comfort be with all of us. Rest well, our heroine. Fear thee well, our industry captain. And we will remain the, uh, the book of John 11, 25, that as Jesus said, I am the resurrection and life, those who believe in me. Though they die, they will live. So Lizzie, you will live in our hearts and we will live to remains of your good works. Sincere condolences on behalf of Kenapko.